felt like a monster, I really did. A sideshow circus clown. She was one of the world's most infamous victims of black market surgery. 46-year-old Raji Nareen Singh's nightmare began when a fake doctor pumped her face and body with a devastating toxic filler. I got injections in my face, my, my breasts, and my hips, and my buttocks. Okay, we'll get started. But now, thanks to a kind-hearted surgeon, the transgender activist is rebuilding her life and even looking <laughs> for love. As a female born in a male's body, Raji was already taking hormones and living as a lady when she decided to take things a step further. I didn't want to look like a man in a dress, to be blunt. If you really want to truly live as a woman, you need to do some sort of body and facial um, reconstruction. That's when I made the choice to go get injections done. We call it in, the, in our community pumping. In 2005, she turned to the now infamous backstreet surgeon, O'Neill Ron Morris, known as the Duchess, spending $3,000 on injections. Morris, herself a transgender woman, was known in the Miami community for providing cheap alternatives to plastic surgery. There, um, that's the apartment right there. Today, Raji is facing her demons by returning to the apartment where her life changed forever. Here is where I came to get um, the injections. Initially, I was fine, but uh, uh, then the, the nightmare started. Morris has since been jailed for carrying out another botched operation without a license. My message to anyone that would consider doing what I did is not to do it. Don't do it. Because you could die from it or you could end up like me. Disfigured. Rajee was too ashamed to seek help and hardly left home until a friend referred her to Dr. John Martin. Let's have you lie down here and we'll get started. Uh, mm -hmm. It was really by far the worst case of a bad injection that I'd ever seen. We're not exactly sure what was injected into Rajee's face. Even trying to get it out, you just sort of chopped away at it like you were chopping at concrete. Dr. Martin sees Raji once a month and is gradually repairing the damage with softening injections and ultrasound and laser therapy. <laughs> wow, this one's gone away completely. I know. It's amazing that this has just totally disappeared. Mm -hmm. The future's looking much more positive for her face. What I worry about more is the inflammation in the rest of her body, both in her breasts and in her buttocks, where she has had really large volumes of of substance injected. It's a long process, but we're getting there. And, the, and then I'll be able to say I'm naturally beauty, <laughs> right? Beauty. <laughs> Thanks to the improvements, Raji is once again enjoying her life and even going on dates. I consider myself somewhat of a cougar. I do tend to like younger men. This guy did say that I reminded him of a sexy dragon. I didn't know whether to kiss him or slap him. Now, after years of suffering, things are finally on the up for Raji. And although she may never truly recover from her nightmare surgery, she's ready to enjoy life and love once again. In order for me to truly move on and do some wonderful things with my life, I have to be able to forgive and I have to be able to move on. I believe that.